What's up guys? It is Wednesday. I swear I like don't even know. This week has been crazy. Last week was crazy. Week before that was crazy. So all my days have been like mixing in together. Um, but I was just running some errands. I meant to pick up the camera a little bit earlier in the day, but I forgot. Um, so I went to go get a fresh manicure. Um, I do no chip and that's basically it. I don't really do acrylics or overlays and all that stuff. I just do a plain, simple manicure with no chip nail polish. And it lasts pretty good. So I've been doing that for about four months now and I'm loving it. Um, but yeah, so I was going to get a fresh little mani because I feel like manis always make me feel a little more pulled together. <laughs> did that and then I decided to go to the grocery store. If you can see um, all of the groceries right there, I'm going to put them away and kind of show you guys what I got. One of my like favorite videos to watch is of vloggers that actually show you what they get from the grocery store because it tends to help motivate me because I am a person that eats out a lot. I eat a lot of trash basically and i like to well not like to but i it just is easier to eat fast food sometimes and i feel like as of late especially like trying to be on this like healthcare journey i've been wanting to like cook more at home or you know just practice a healthier lifestyle and stuff so i've been trying to figure out better things to purchase at the grocery store than like basic shit that everybody buys um so i just bought a couple of things that i needed to restock in and yeah also let me show you guys this uh coat it's more of a sweater actually um but i'm wearing it as a coat it's very thick actually so my scarf which i do love is from American Eagle but it was from last year's collection so I don't think you can get your hands on that but the teddy coat slash cardigan is really long as well I am 5'4 so if you're a little bit taller it may hit you at the knee but because I am short it's pretty long and it's a little oversized as well I have an extra large and typically I have been going for like more larges and some mediums just because I am like losing weight and stuff but I got it in extra large and I almost feel like I want to take it back and just like get it in a size smaller like should I do that should I take it back and get it in a large I feel like I am but this jacket is bomb y'all like so I got it from Uniglo if I didn't say that already and it's just like I don't know this is like everything I'm looking for because I feel like it's casual enough that I can wear it with like sweats and like you know sneakers and stuff but then I feel like I could also dress it up with like a dope hat some boots so I think I'm gonna go a size smaller I think I'm gonna do a large so I can still be like slightly oversized but just not as big as this one. First bag I'm gonna show you guys is fruit I get a lot of frozen fruit so I can make smoothies um I love making smoothies it's one of my favorite things now but um I got the great value I went to Walmart if I didn't say that already but I got the great value blueberries I also got some sliced bananas I got the red raspberries it's like are raspberries any other color but I don't know <laughs> um I got some extra large shrimp because I want to make some type of shrimp pasta, pesto, something. I got some shredded hash browns because I'm a breakfast person, but I'll eat breakfast like any time of day. I got this to actually eat now and also take some for lunch. Um, I'm going to work later on tonight and I ended up picking up the four piece fried chicken. <laughs> this is just literally like already prep made chicken that was at Walmart in like a little heated area. So pick this up to like eat now. I got some eggs because obviously I got this huge bag of strawberries. I love strawberry. Strawberry smoothies are actually like my favorite smoothie to get. I got some boneless, skinless chicken breast. It's by the brand Tyson. I love this because I can put this in a fajita. I can make some like vegetable and chicken fajitas. I can also put this in a salad. Um, I can make a sandwich. You can do like some of everything with this. And because it is uh, skinless, it's actually a little bit healthier for you. 
I picked up some fresh spinach. Now, spinach I put in my smoothies, but I also obviously make salads with it. Um, I like to cook with it as well, saute it in my everything. Um, I also like to put it in my eggs if I'm making scrambled eggs or even like an omelet. Like it's just, spinach is like so universal for me. I put it in everything, so got some of that. I almost wish I would've got a bigger bag, but I didn't wanna waste it because I feel like when I last went grocery shopping, I bought this huge container of spinach and yeah, I wasted it. Um, I got the three different colors of bell pepper, so red, orange, and green. I, since I've been on this like vegetarian type of journey, I've actually been loving um, eating bell peppers. They've actually been so good. They smell really great when you're cooking them, but they also taste so good when you like saute them in a skillet and stuff. Um, I got some shredded, or sh yeah, some shredded cheese. It says Fiesta blend. I usually get the Mexican blend, um, so I'm guessing this is very similar. I bought two bottles of alkaline water. Um, these are that great value brand, so I'm guessing these are very similar to like Smart Water. Um, I have also like dairy free to an extent. Like I still eat cheese, but when it comes to like milk, I have cut out all cow's milk. I've been drinking almond milk and I love the vanilla almond milk and that tastes so good in all of my smoothies and stuff. So I just have been loving it and yeah. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you should because like I always kind of post my smoothies, but this one is another really, really good one. It's not focusing, but this one is from Trader Joe and it is the uh, blueberry lavender flavor. It tastes so good in blue blueberry smoothies. Um, so yeah, so I got some hot chocolate this is like nestle your basic brand um i typically like to get like really fun hot chocolates during like the winter time um but i saw this one it was only like 99 cents so i just picked this up i typically have to use like two packages in order for it to like taste rich and creamy so yeah it's a very basic one but i still wanted to get some because i'm running out and i got slinda um i am like type 2 diabetic and I'm borderline like I'm just trying to like eliminate as much sugar options as possible so I do use Splenda when I'm making myself teas or if I need to add sugar I add Splenda like I'm just you know a Splenda person um the next thing I got is these I've never tried these before um I always get like uh, any type of like waffle. I love waffles. So I usually do the Trader Joe waffles or I'll do um, even the great value waffles from Walmart. But these are Eggo and I do like Eggo waffles, but I've never tried the thick and fluffy ones. And this is in particular the cinnamon brown sugar. I think this is my very last bag, but I just got some cinnamon rolls because I feel like they're very festive. I love like making cookies and making cinnamon rolls and all that type of stuff during the holiday season. It just kind of puts me in a mood and it smells really good in your place so got this um because i kind of sometimes have a sweet tooth no let's be honest i have a sweet tooth all the time but i try not to keep a lot of like really bad stuff in my apartment so i typically if i'm going to eat bad it's outside <laughs> that way i don't have it just here hoarding like all kind of bad stuff um i don't really use regular butter i use i can't believe it's not butter i love the flavor of this stuff it's just good I just need to re up. That is all of my groceries. I'm gonna go ahead and put them away right now. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do for the next like hour and a half. <laughs> So I'm gonna just pop all this stuff right in here so that I can make my return. Hopefully they have a large. 
I also have one more thing that I forgot to share with you. Ugh. I also have one more thing that I forgot to share with you guys. So, um, one of my friends from high school, she actually has a really cool company and it's called um, Coffee Pops. And Coffee Pops are essentially like a... I guess a recipe of ingredients that you typically have in your coffee. Step is on a pop. Um, I will insert some video situations here. But um, first of all, it comes packaged all super cute. I love the little twine wrapped around it. Um, it's in my freezer because that's how she suggests. <laughs> it's in my freezer because that's how she suggests for you to store it. Um, but they look like this. Let me just pull it out so you can see. Um, but it's super cool. The concept is really dope looks like this how cute how festive with a cute little bow on it but it is basically a pop like a popsicle almost but a coffee pop and you heat up your hot water put it in your mug and then spin it around in the mug and like literally you have a cup of coffee i didn't need to add anything i didn't need to add sugar i didn't need to add cream nothing it was literally the best um super easy like thing to do because <laughs> um, i'm not a coffee person i'm generally like a tea person i love tea and i don't like even when i go to starbucks i don't even get like real coffee i legit get like a latte or mostly chai lattes and like you know free drinks like i don't even get coffee so <laughs> it's just you know interesting um for someone who doesn't even enjoy coffee like that to really feel you know like i was loving the taste what's up guys it's a, a new day um i am actually getting ready to go pick up a christmas tree super excited so i actually found out about this really cool facebook group that my best friend is in um and she told me all about it it is a group where you can buy borrow trade i think it's called like buy nothing hyde park i live in hyde park in chicago and sorry that's my uber notifications but um uh, basically this group like has posts where they post anything that they want to like give away and it's up to the people in the group to basically say like oh yeah I would love to pick it up or they'll just say like hey on you know this street there will be a bag of clothes and if you need clothes go pick it up or I'm having like a yard sale come by and pick some stuff up um, or you know they ask people ask like specific things like this one person was asking about a trumpet <laughs> she was like does anyone have a spare trumpet and it's just really cool it's a community of neighbors basically people in Hyde Park who um like want to sell borrow trade whatever um but it says buy nothing so i guess everything basically is supposed to be free within the group but people ask if i guess if you're looking for something in particular you kind of say like hey i will give you money for it but it's basically stuff for free so someone was asking about a christmas tree and i was thinking to myself i kind of need a christmas tree and then um well i really want to get one and uh this person um said that they had one but the person who was asking about it already got one so she was like oh that's thank you but like i already you know got a christmas tree so i snuck in there a message and was like um if it's still available i would gladly take it off your hands so then we've been dming each other and i'm going to go pick it up now so i'm super excited because i actually am going to have a christmas tree because at first i was like i went to go price some at marshall's and i was like okay there are decent prices but i didn't really want to have to pay for one this year because like i am in a small apartment and i wasn't sure like what i was going to do but a free tree <laughs> i will take it off your hands my uber is going to be here in one minute so i'm not going to obviously show you guys this person's house and all that stuff because that's their personal thing but when i come back i'll show you guys the tree i'm so excited all right <laughs> so i just got back that was super quick super smooth transition this is the tree right here um I swear, I feel like in every clip I always have a damn trash bag, but that's about to go downstairs. But anyway, so it is a six foot tree. She said they had this tree for a few years and they hadn't used it since, I think she said three years ago and it just been sitting there and she'd been wanting to like give it away for the longest time. And I'm like, what? So this is a six foot tree. So it's a big tree. Um, it says that it originally was like $65. So I got this for free, which is amazing. It's already pre-lit, which is also amazing. Um, so hopefully it still works and stuff because obviously she's had this for a while. This box is so tiny compared to what it's saying it's in here and yeah i don't know like if i need to purchase anything it doesn't look like it um like do i need a stand what is this down here nope it looks like it comes with a stand um so i probably honestly only need like 
a skirt and obviously ornaments and stuff if I decide to whatever I decide to do but oh, I'm so excited so I got a tree for free I got a tree for free so <laughs> that was really dope um so obviously I'm gonna be all up and through that app speaking of other apps I also have been on offer up because I told you guys in my like most updated warmth video <laughs> that I want a like little coffee table for here i also want to update this bookshelf situation so these are well the bigger part of it big part of the bookshelf is an ikea bookshelf um i can link it down below if you're interested but it's the very basic bookshelf i really want to upgrade it to like a more chrome i think i want it to be like gold hardware with like glass shelves or I want to do one that's a little more industrial with wooden shelves. I haven't quite decided, but I really think it depends on what my cocktail table looks like because they are in the same room and I want them to like kind of flow. <laughs> I've been trying to figure that out, but I don't want to spend a lot of money because a I'm in a rental. Like I don't want to have like restoration hardware or like, you know, any of those bigger brands, Z Gallery or even like, um, what's the one that starts with a W? You know, I don't want to really go invest in that type of stuff because I am transitioning and I don't know what my like forever home is going to be like. So but I do want some better pieces because some of these pieces I've had for a few years now and the quality is starting to like show. So it's time to like upgrade some stuff. So I've been looking on places like OfferUp. I do want to go thrifting as well and try to find some stuff. Um, but yeah, so I've been... Um, in contact with a few people from offer up and hopefully i'll be getting a little coffee table to go in this area like i said i'm thinking like something that's like gold chromed with a glass top and similar for a bookshelf that is gold with glass shelves um or some type of like wooden something with industrial piping or a like more like black i think like a a black metal or something or some type of like black something i don't know it's just either a black little table with a black bookshelf i don't know something like that but that's obviously in some future videos um but yeah so i don't think i'm gonna put up the tree right now i would definitely do that in probably the next vlog and share with you guys like me putting out my christmas decorations also like show you guys the stuff that i already own so i can like really like make my apartment super festive um because i have some really fun stuff that i've accumulated over the years that i want to put out and then there's some stuff that i want to get so yeah um so stay tuned for that but this is a really short vlog like i said um if i i didn't say you know i meant to even update you guys on vlogmas in general I'm not doing like a daily vlogmas because I don't have the time nor the energy to like devote a daily every day push out one through 31 days in December or one through 25 even of vlogmas. So it's going to be a little sporadic. So I'm not going to number these vlogs, but it is vlogmas my style. Um, but yeah, let me know if you have any content that you want for me to share with you guys. I will try to create a video like that. I was thinking about doing like an everyday every day in quotes glam face look or something like that some type of like makeup not tutorial but like a get ready with me those are my favorite to watch so obviously it'll be something easier to create also like doing some like christmas party fashion looks maybe but yeah so that is what's going on i'll see you guys in the next video peace